Okay, scheduling, two different approaches. Uh, there's a, the so-called rooming house approach, and there's the time sharing approach. Rooming house is where you just open the doors and anybody that can come, comes. And this is typically the arrangement that mom and dad have in place as long as mom and dad are occupying the property because they want to see at least the grandchildren, if not the children, and they encourage people to come whenever they can. And that works fairly well as long as um, there aren't too many conflicts over bedrooms and so forth. The other approach is the time sharing approach where you allocate specific time slots to individuals and that's very much like a time sharing arrangement uh, for other vacation property. You have a method of determining who gets first choice and there are a lot of different ways that that can be done, but you allocate specific time slots to individual members of the family and then you rotate that sequence of selection. So that this year, whoever chose first last year, this year they choose last. And by rotating that in a specified sequence, every member of the family gets first choice at some point in the calendar, depending on how many children there are at the next year. <coughs> this is uh, how you would structure a time-sharing formula for three branches, Andy, Bob, and Carol. You can see that Bob has uh, first choice last year. He gets, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Andy had first choice last year. He has third choice. And you just go through a regular rotation where you move the order of selection each year. The problem is if you have too many kids, pretty soon you get something that looks like that. And it gets to be a little bit complicated. Having said that, it's worth it to a lot of families to construct a matrix that looks like this and then they allocate time uh, based on this matrix. A lot of times families will divide the season up into discrete units. So you have a one week or a two week or if you're lucky enough a one month unit of time period and if you do it on a short term basis like a week you might have two or three selections every year. Now that works well if people don't have a long ways to go to get to the place, but if you have relatives that are traveling from the East Coast, they don't want to make more than one trip, and so that doesn't work quite as well. So you have to divide the season up into whatever units of time make the most sense for your family. <coughs>